These craggy mountains, thrust up by earthquake movement deep within the earth, have been eaten away over millions of years by the rivers coursing through them. Washing rocks and debris down to the Hiliki Plain. And it's this sediment coming down to the plain that might explain why there is now solid land where there once might have been a lagoon. Using a model river at the University of Newcastle, geologist Richard Collier thinks he can explain how it happened. The model can be used to show how sediment is transported by a river and it can show how sediment affects the coastal plain. When there is just water running through the model, the river runs straight. But when sediment is added, in the form of sand, it is deposited within the river, forcing it to change position. So this provides us with a snapshot of how the Selenus River has behaved through time. The river is constantly shifting backwards and forwards through time as the sediment is deposited within the river. It's this sediment that has filled in the land under the bridge. But the material washed down from the mountains has done more than just change the course of the river. It has changed the whole shape of the plain. Each winter, the rivers have flooded, breaking their banks and depositing sediment across the entire plain. This has left a new layer of soil, which has built up year on year, creating new land. So if Aliki was submerged beneath the lagoon, in the thousands of years that followed, the debris coming down from the mountains would slowly have filled it in, creating a solid plain. It means that Aliki, the city that inspired the myth of Atlantis, should lie not underwater, but underground.